Hey gang, Amrasil here. As you can see, Reger is in this game playing the Kamikaze R. This is a, a match with Tier 6 and Tier 5. I have not watched it. We're watching it together right now. And I don't know much about this game other than that he had a good game. In terms of matchmaking, doesn't look too bad. Um, in terms of DDs that he's liable to encounter, we've got Matsuki, Fushin, Eggle, Gallant. And I think he's going to have a, an advantage in terms of his detection radius. Eggle's got some pretty nasty guns. It is a French destroyer, but uh, it has smoke. It's uh, a premium that came out before the French DD line. And uh, <laughs> they had not really decided what they were going to do with the French DDs yet, so the angle has smoke. Kind of the same way that the uh, uh, Duca d'Austa, uh, a premium Italian cruiser that came out before the Italian cruiser line has AG rather than SAP. Cruisers to contend with, Nuremberg, Omaha, Emerald, all of which have some pretty decent Daka Daka. Reader's not going to want to get spotted. All of them have the potential to bang up his Kamikaze R. Now you saw there, Eggle was pointing out that there was something there. I'm guessing he has a radio location or a radio position finder. Reacher's trying to thread the needle there, putting some torpedoes between the gap. Looked like a couple of them are liable to hit the island, but if that Fushin continues on that same course, he's liable to eat a face full of torpedo. There's the Mutsu. It is a tier 6 Japanese battleship. Very hard hitting guns, but uh, the dispersion and Sigma, not all that great. So, if you hit something with Mutsu, as long as the, uh, you know, if you're firing AP, as long as the whatever you're hitting has enough armor to arm the fuse, it'll do a lot of damage. Hitting something is the trick. It also has some torpedoes, which can really surprise people who are not familiar with the ship. Mutsu changed course, making those torpedoes just glide right on by. Eggle's got torpedoes out and... Oh! Well, Fushin might have just saved the Mutsu, but uh, we'll see. Read your sticking with the, type, the tight spread of torpedoes. Throws them out there and then smokes up, having gotten detected. And that's a whole lot of firepower out there. He does not want to stay seen, so he wisely smoked up and went dark. Is Mutsu going to get caught? Yes, he is. Three torpedoes on the Mutsu for Reader. Nicely done. And Mutsu is probably going to uh, try and make use of this island for a while. Stay away from the Prince Otto Friedrich. And Reader's got more torpedoes heading his way. Now, one of the things you'll notice if you're not familiar with the Kamikaze or the Kamikaze R or the Fujin, which are basically all three the same ship with a different paint job, the torpedoes reload very quickly. And these are hard hitting torpedoes. These uh, are a little bit more powerful than the equal tier Minakaza that is uh, 
well, they used to be much more similar. There was uh, several years ago, there was a, at the time they added the new line of Japanese destroyers. There was a bit of a nerf to the Tech Tree line torpedoes on the Minikaze and the uh, Isokaze. A little bit heartbreaking for those of us who were uh, who really enjoyed playing Minikaze and Asakaza and uh, actually uh, back at that time when uh, the Matsuki was uh, tier 6 really enjoyed playing that game. Oof! Nice! Down goes Mutsu courtesy of Reger's torpedoes. So that's five torpedoes landed in roughly five and a half minutes. Uh, that's no uh, that's no easy feat so you know, good on you there, Reger. That, that's some nice drops. Matt Nuremberg is in big trouble because the Prince Idol Friedrich is, while it is not super accurate for its tier, it's reasonably accurate on that Eagle's in trouble. Yeah, that's something to keep in mind when you're playing a destroyer. Um, if you smoke, and there are ships behind you, friendly ships behind you, particularly battleships. Don't sit in the smoke. Because anything with torpedoes is going to try and torp that the larger ship behind you. And if you happen to be in between the ship that launched the torpedoes and the target of those torpedoes, And often get sunk that way. Now I don't know that that's what happened here. It might have. Maybe the Nuremberg was just torping the smoke. That happens too. But sitting broadside in the smoke, which is kind of what that uh, Eggle was doing, never a good idea. Oh, Reader's liable to snatch the kill here. Yeah, he did. Nicely done. Now here's something you'll notice. Um, Reader's got seven gun hits. Now I'll grant you that's not a lot, but so many players of, uh, particularly the Japanese DD line, it's kind of like, oof, they, they kind of forget that uh, that these Japanese destroyers do have guns, and and they actually are fairly hard-hitting guns. Granted. They have a glacially slow turret traverse. Granted, they have a slow reload. But they do hit fairly hard. Now, looking at the bigger picture, the good guys have lost uh, seven of their ships. The bad guys have only lost five. And they have a 190 point lead on the scoreboard. But this is, and I, especially for an experienced player like Reacher, this is an opportunity when you're playing a ship like the Kamikaze R. Because generally speaking, what's going to happen is the bad guys are going to push. They're going to try and head for the cap. They're going to try and get angles. They're going to try and get crossfires. So they're going to be pushing. And if you're sitting out on a flank like this, a kamikaze. That is what can happen. Nice job, Reger. And you can see that the Emerald and Warspite, they're, uh, they're out there as well. And Warspite will probably be a little bit more cautious. Yeah, he's putting an airplane in the air. He's going to try and... Here comes Fushin. Uh, Fushin is... Uh, it's a good destroyer, but his torpedoes can't hit the kamikaze are So... While there's a certain amount of threat from the guns, Reacher doesn't have anything to worry about as far as the Fushin's torpedoes. Warspite continues to push forward. Fushin is doing some maneuvering. So it looks like Reacher's going to take the more sure bet and throw torpedoes in the face of the Warspite. He's just checking out his path ahead, wants to make sure he's not going to ground into the island. Oh, 
bar nine. Gotta change course when you know there's an enemy destroyer in the water out here. Reader's asking for a little help with that Fushin. And he lands two, only gets one flood, which allows the war spite to repair. Reacher's protected. Matsuki's pushed in close on this side. Guns go a little bit wide of the mark. But he's gonna go dark here. Take a little bit of damage, maybe he can finish up the Matsuki. Nope! Somebody beat him to it. But, torpedoes are back up. Now watch the indicator there when he throws these torpedoes out. Check the reload out on these things. Yeah, you're reading that right. 40 seconds. <laughs> and these are really hard hitting torpedoes for their tier. Uh, this, the stock number is a little bit higher. I'm guessing that Reader's got the uh, commander skill Adrenaline Rush, which speeds up everything as you take a little bit of damage, but um, still. And look at that, just like that. The good guys have evened the score and the ship count, and that emerald, oh, he's going to get out of range of the torpedoes, but Reacher's got the guns working. If you're keeping score, that's three ships sunk by Reacher at this point, a little over 100,000 damage. You can see the Kunik and the Arp. Congo heading this way, and there is still an enemy destroyer to contend with. So, what what happened here? Um, if if you've played the game for a while, it's, you're probably well aware. If you're not, maybe you're not quite so aware of what happened. The the bad guys, they saw that they had a ship lead, and they, well, they tried to win a little too hard and what they did was they pushed into at least on wherever the side reader was on um, they pushed into a very deadly torpedo threat and they put themselves in a situation where they were going to be crossfired because there were a fair number of friendly ships in this area where reader's at right now and he had reader out on the flank so they had to either show side to the large caliber ships over here or they had to show side to Reader and his torpedoes, neither of which was going to work out well for them, and in fact, didn't work out well for them. So the good guys now have four ships, the bad guys only have three, and you can see that the bad guys are now on the run. Reader's just having a look around, picking up a little spotting damage. Here's the Fushin popped up on the minimap there you can see and he's pretty banged up one good volley could probably take the fushin out Reader's not firing the torpedoes here because they've only got seven kilometers of range and the ships are moving away from him so there's not much chance those torpedoes could catch up we're just gonna smoke up and try and finish off the fushin It's turning out a bit. Those are going to go wide on the inside edge there. And Congo's throwing shells this way. That hurt. And having already repaired, that's going to burn for a little bit. Now, why is he throwing those torpedoes out there, you may ask? Well, just because he can't leave the smoke or he'll be detected because he's on fire his detection range is a little bit bigger and if somebody changes course or slows down or if the Fushin comes around that way thinking well I'll sneak around and I'll hit the New Mexico in the face with torpedoes well if he does come around that corner Reader's torpedoes are going to be right there to meet him and you can see that there's something there shooting 
hoping to catch Reedger in the smoke. Reedger's only got 3,480 hit points left, so... Uh, oh, there's Fushin. So he had, a, he had the right idea that the Fushin was probably going to head out that direction. Fushin's coming to a stop that's way too far out. Oh, fire into the smoke. Yeah, he's moving forward now, so... You can see that smoke ring. I'm going to fire into that ring. There he is. That looks pretty decent. No, he's reversing. No, still too far ahead. But I think he's going to be able to catch him here. Some preemptive torps in case Congo gets a little closer. So what was Reacher doing? He was blind firing into the smoke. Now you can do that. You know, one of the things that I noticed there that uh, in the heat of the moment it's not always as easy to see, is that the Fushin was reversing. You can watch where the, f the shells are coming from, and you can get some idea on a fairly rapid firing ship like the Fushin. You can see, okay, it's fired, but now it's, you know, it's moved off to starboard side or whatever. And you can kind of get some idea of the direction it's going, and you can fire your shells in anticipation of that. So, Reger has switched to a wide dispersion on the torpedoes, which may be a good idea, hoping to catch somebody in that smoke. Got the engine boost engaged. He's going to try and speed up, get around this corner here. And he's got another. Watch where you're going here. There we go. Um, he's got another couple of tubes of torpedoes to throw out there. He's just getting within range, kind of narrows it back down. And he can get to work with the guns on the Fushin. Yeah, that looks pretty good, but he's got AP loaded. Now, AP against a destroyer very often will overpen, but this guy doesn't have hard... He's got hardly any hit points, so that, that's all it took. That's kill number four. Awesome job, Reger. And he is... He's going to have some torpedoes ready and throw them right at the Congo here. It's only going to take one hit. And that's kill number five. That's cracking for Reger. Nice job, Reger. This was pretty hard carry. I bet your back hurt like crazy after this game. And Tiger Shark 650 offers a well played kamikaze. And it was. It's a great job. A Kraken in any ship is uh, that is a game well played. Well, <laughs> four ships to one, um, roughly 250 point lead or so. Um, this thing's all over both shouting. And Koenig has taken massive damage here, so I don't expect this is going to last much longer. So I'm going to tune out here, say thank you very much, Reader, for sending this game replay file in. It was very fun to watch. You did a fantastic job. Always, always very fun to watch your games, and I, I know you play this ship and uh, uh, Kamikaze Sisters a lot, and I always enjoy watching them. It's such a fun ship. And to anybody watching, thanks a lot for joining me. Really appreciate it, and I will see you next time.